your turn, Dad? <laughs> you're, just, you're so naughty. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. He's so Whatever. naughty. Yes, he is. He is. He's naughty, naughty, naughty. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's Nana Grace. You know, this video, I had it all thought out in my head, but I really didn't think it out well enough. And what the, I wanted to do was I wanted to I want to show you some of the weather, which I will do. Then I had a song that I was that I had actually pre-recorded, and I'm thinking that I, I wanted you to hear it. It was going to be about social distancing, sort of, but it's a song that it's not really a social distancing song, but it makes you feel like social distancing. And I was going to have that play and I'm thinking but there's no video with it and I, I could probably pretend I'm singing but then my lips won't match it because I can't hear it at the moment because it's on the computer already so I don't know what I'm gonna do there if you if you see the song you know I found something to put in there or hear the song I mean then you know I put something in there otherwise that poor song is gonna be left out of this video I don't know what I'm doing I don't know and I'm going to do a tag. And the tag was from Gray Wolf. No, it's Gray Wolf Fitness. I'm right. I was right. Oh, I, I'm getting better. Gray Wolf Fitness did this tag. And so I'm going to do the tag. He said in his video that anybody that's hearing this tag can do this tag. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Anybody that's hearing this tag, you can do the tag too. A little weather report. Today is the 17th of April, 2020. And once again, the snow is falling. It's been trying all day to do this and now it's doing it. The grass was green for a little while. The chickens were all out for a little while, but now they're all back in. So that's our weather in Western New York. Weather update, it's still snowing. We're gonna lock the chickens in because they're not gonna come out anymore. I'll let you see them. See, I have some of them that like to sleep on the roof. Some of them like to sleep on this bar. Oh, I know, you get nervous when I come in here. I'm sorry. I see some of them are right there. And some of them, nobody? Oh, just mama's in there with the babies. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. I will leave you. Lock them in safe for the night. There we go. <gasps> it's chilly. Okay, Jim, you want to ask me the questions so I can answer them? I told him, wait a minute, before you start, I told him my, my um, answers will be all together different told than who? told Craig. On, I know, <laughs> Gray Wolf, yes, on his, on, and his comments that mine would be altogether different because I did things differently. Oh, thank you. Take the book away so I can sit. And you can see my other shirt underneath here. Oh, dear. I have two shirts on again because I'm, it's, as you saw, it's snowing. Okay, now here we go. Question number one. Number one. How old were you when you started lifting? <laughs> and he's a he's a um, bodybuilder, I believe, is what he does, and so he does a lot of lifting. Well, my lifting started. This is going to be crazy because I didn't do the barbell or the the weights or things like that. I started lifting at probably age two, two and a half, because when Anita came along, <laughs> I lifted my sister, and. So I started very young and then I lifted other things that were, um, had to be done. I picked up cats and I probably tried to pick up the dog. I don't know, maybe not, but I know I picked up the cats and the kittens. And when we worked outside in the, in the, um, grapes, I lifted the grape crates as I got older and up. Quart, berry quartz. I lifted the carrier that carried 24 quarts. I could lift that. And I lift a hamper. 
that had potatoes in it. So that's where my lifting began. <laughs> okay. Number two, what was your motivation? My motivation to do this? Well, we wanted to get the work done. And the motivation was with the um, carrying Anita around. I liked babies. I always wanted babies. I used to wish somebody would leave a baby on my doorstep, but that never happened. You know how you'd see in the movies where the basket was outside the door, they'd ring the bell and leave the baby? Well, I used to wish somebody would do that, and they never did. But the motivation was to get the work done. It's basically what it was. Is that anything more to that question? No. Nope. Oh. Uh, number three. Who were your role models? My role models were my brothers and my sisters. I wanted to be better than them. If they could do it, I know I could do it too. So that's, I guess, was my role models. And my mom and dad, of course, but my brothers and sisters were probably the biggest role models. Okay, number four. What kind of music did you listen to <laughs> while working out in those early days? I listened to myself sing at the top of my lungs and probably my mother whistling and my sister singing and it was family music. It was nothing on the radio or anything else. Um, it was us making that noise. <laughs> okay, number five. What kind of equipment did you have? Uh, what kind of equipment did I have? Well, like I said earlier, I picked up um, hampers with potatoes and I picked up grape crates because when you had to pick the grapes by hand, you carried the grape crate from one section to another section so you could pick the grapes. Um, I picked up, I pushed and pulled a lawnmower. <laughs> I, guess that's, I guess that's the kind of equipment I had. Farm equipment. Farm equipment, that's right. Okay. There's, uh, there's eight questions all together. Yep. Did you follow structured workout plans? Number six. Did I follow structured workout plans? Mm -hmm. It was all structured because the, by the weather, it determined when you had to pick the berries and when you had to pick the grapes and you wanted to get the job done. And so we'd start like 8 o'clock in the morning or earlier, depend as soon as the sun was up enough to see. I think it was 8 o'clock. And we'd work till noon. So is that structured? Mm, kind yeah. of, yeah. I don't know what other... And we worked till noon, and then we'd go home and have lunch, and then we'd come back, and we'd work until it was getting too too dusky to tell whether they were ripe or not ripe, if it was doing potato or um, berries yes. or grapes. And when we'd plant potatoes, we would, um, we would, that was, the potatoes were fun, because we would drop them and drop step, drop step. It was kind of fun to step in and out of the ditch, of the potato ditch. Okay. Number seven, did you work out alone? <laughs> <laughs> All these things were done with the family. When I was picking grapes, everybody was picking grapes. When I was planting potatoes, we were all planting potatoes. Whenever we were taking the eyes off the potatoes, when we gather the hampers to bring them out in front of the barn, um, we all did it. So no, I didn't work alone. Okay, number eight, final one. What kind of impact did working out have on your life in those early years? It made me a very responsible, strong individual, I would believe. Was there a bonus question or not? Yeah, bonus question. Did you continue to work out? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I should. Um, there's many. Oh, my nose is itching for this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got an itchy nose. Um, <laughs> it never fails. That nose has to itch in one of these videos or at one point. Um, I, for a long time, I was doing my walk exercises, which was good because it helps build um, hip flexors and up, upper body movement. And then I went to the gym for a while, but you know, I'm not, a, I'm not one that likes to go to the gym. I do have some exercise equipment here. I do have two treadmills that are folded up right now and not being used. I do have a recumbent bike that was my son's that he didn't want and he was just using it as a coat hanger, oh, I guess. And I do sit on that now and then, but not very often. I do have barbells. 
or dumbbells, dumbbells, kettlebells. kettlebells. I have kettlebells and I have the little dumbbells yeah. too. And I have the ankle weights and the little wrist weights. I, I but you know I pull up I, bar. Yeah, pull up bar. I um do those every now and then, but not not on a regular basis. No, I should. But I don't. And I practice my balance. That's the one thing that I practice is my balance. In fact, today I was doing balance and I showed Jim that if I squat, if you squat, keep your heels on the floor for this one. And every time I do that, I want to fall backwards. So I gave myself a five pound <laughs> kettlebell in front. And I said, see, I need that five pounds just to off balance the wanting to go backwards. It balances me. I don't fall over. Now, so, our daughter, though, and granddaughter can both can touch their elbows. I know. I can't touch my elbows. When they're squatting. I can't do it. They're pretty flexible. Very flexible. Not I. They're I'm both cheerleaders, stiff. too. Yeah, well, I was a cheerleader, but I could never I do it. But <laughs> they're, they're, they're young, young. too. <laughs> young, young cheerleaders. One is, one is like 30 years younger than me, and one is, oh gosh, she's only... Eight, eight nine. nine. I don't know. She's not very old. Yeah. I forget how old she is. She's she's young, very young. But she's the, a cheerleader. She's very brave, like her mother. And um, mm -hmm. that's it, I guess. Yeah. Now we'll have to figure out how to put that song in there. It might not be there, but then again, it might be there. So if you see it, uh, hear it. if you hear it, I mean, yeah, because there's <laughs> nothing there to see unless I put something there. I try to be patient, I try not to moan, but it's driving me crazy, trying to live here alone. My conversation gets nowhere when I talk to myself. I've lost my sense of humor somewhere here on the shelf. The moon is wasting its shine, shining on me, until I see you again. I won't be out in the moonlight, we'll be sleeping by ten. The birds are wasting their songs, singing to me, until I'm waking with you. Until you're back in my arms, dear. The birds will have to find something better to do. A shoulder to cry on would make me feel fine. But it's not much comfort when I'm crying all night. Friends and relations are running out of patience with me. I keep myself to myself, but I'm no company. The birds are wasting their songs, singing to me, until I'm waking with you, until you're back in my arms, dear. The birds will have to find something better to do. Yeah, yeah, the birds will have to find something better to do. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>